Let's look at the following sequence of numbers. 1, 1 half, 1 third, and so on. This is a sequence of 1 divided by n, where n is a natural number. If n goes to infinity, then this sequence tends to 0. And this is absolutely clear, because as n grows, we divide 1 by an ever-increasing number. So the result becomes smaller and smaller and gets closer and closer to 0. Now let's look at the sum of all the numbers in this sequence. This sequence is called harmonic sequence. And the interesting question arises. In this series, we add a smaller and smaller number each time. So the sum increases by a smaller and smaller value each time. And therefore, such an intuitive feeling may arise that this sum tends to some not very large number, but can never reach it, because we add less and less each one. Well, for example, it could be 2 or little more, let's say 10. But however, the truth is, there is no limit. Starting with some member, the sum will be greater than 100. Starting with some another member, it will be greater than a million, a trillion, and in general, the sum tends to infinity, or in mathematical terms, it diverges. This is exactly the case when the intuition fails us. And the fact that this series diverges is very easy to prove. Let's do it. Let's write down the first few members of this series. Now let's replace some of these members with new ones so that the final sum decreases. Namely, let's leave the first two members as they are. Let's replace the next two with the fraction 1 divided by 2 squared, that is 1 fourth. Let's replace the next 2 squared, that is 4 members, with the fraction 1 divided by 2 cubes, that is 1 eighth. Let's replace the next 2 cubed, that is 8 members, with the fraction 1 divided by 2 to the power of 4, that is 1 sixteenth, and so on. It is clear that the final sum will be smaller, since we replaced each member of the original sum with a smaller one. But in each of these resultant groups, the sum of members will be equal to one half. Indeed, for the red group, the sum will be equal to 1 divided by 2 squared multiplied by 2 to the power of 1, that is 1 half. For the green group, it will be equal to 1 divided by 2 cubed multiplied by 2 squared, that is again 1 half, and so on. For any cath group, the sum of its members will be equal to 1 divided by 2 to the power of k plus 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of k, that is 1 half. But such a series increases indefinitely, since we got the sum of the infinite number of fractions of 1 half. This means that it diverges. Well, our original series is greater than this one, which means that it also diverges, which is what was required to be proven. And here is the proof. So what we consider obviously correct is not always so in fact. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and for your donations.